David Niven, Ida Lupino. Across this bamboo wall, you're on your own. I understand, General Fang. If you get caught, there's nothing we can do for you. Officially, we don't know you. We never heard of you. I volunteered for this mission, Captain Jordan. I know it's a rough one. You'll have to contact a man named Keller and find out why his messages have stopped coming through. You have no idea who he is? None at all. Just that his messages are vital to us, and the information in them is priceless. It's a blind hunt for a man who is... Well, he's almost a legend. His messages have all been marked Tom Hyshan, but we can't locate it in any of the maps. I'll find it. There are many villages not marked on the map. Just as long as I can trust my guides. If I may offer a word of advice, trust them and do not trust them. Most of the native agents are handpicked, checked, double-checked, and checked again. Sometimes they are bought off. Usually we know who has been killed or who has sold out. Sometimes we do not know. When we leave, we make the drop tonight. The messages were all on rice paper in a small capsule. They were brought out by an old Chinese named Ali. He brought out about 11 of them. That was all. We think he was killed. No word from Madden or Costello? Madden was killed. We got word in that yesterday. Costello has disappeared. You're number three. Look out for yourself. And look out for a joker named Sam Pan Joe. I've heard of him. Is he in this area? Yes. He operates like a warlord without portfolio. He's a white man who hit bottom and came up with a snarl and a small army. He was a sea captain on a plush liner at one time, wasn't he? Yes. The Caxton Orient Line. Captain Joe Rainey. He was the best. But he made a mistake. He made a lot of mistakes, so they kicked him out and he stayed on in China. Keep clear of Sam Pan Joe. Drop time coming up. Now don't take any more chances than you have to. I'll be careful. Now we're going to drop you into the village of Ching Sha. And there you'll find your first guide at number 15 on the street of the Yellow Lotus. Remember that. Good luck. Black, trying to make a deal on some black market rifles. No questions asked. Or... You will not waste my time with lies. To have no identifications at all makes a man easily identified. The paradox which you intelligence fellows never seem to understand. Who you are and what you are is of minor importance. You are in China to make contact with a man named Keller. Who is he? And where is he? That's all I want to know. Who is he and where is he? Who 
and where? Who and where? Who is Keller? And where can I find him? You realize, of course, that when we're finished with you, you'll say anything we want you to say. You'll sign anything we want you to sign. You'll be made of jelly, mindless and broken. You'll be a shell, an empty shell, a blank man. Let me advise you of something you should know. There is little refinement here. No gentle brainwashing in interest of conversion. I don't want allegiance from you, I want information. And I have more time than you have blood, Lieutenant Sanford. You know who I am? Of course I know who you are. And I know why you're here. Who sold me out? You mean what sold you out? Bullets and money sold you out. That's all I deal in. Where am I? Ah, this is interesting, is it not, Joe Guy? The prisoner is conducting the questioning. <laughs> Very well. You are in a Yemen, a Chinese fortress, impregnable, inescapable. The commander is Captain Shugat, and I am Sampan Joe, the commander of Captain Shugat and everybody else around here. Clear? Anything else? Now it's my turn. Where is Keller hiding? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're a liar. You were on your way to meet Keller when you were caught. Where were you to meet him? Where? I can't tell you what I don't know. You're very mistaken about that, Lieutenant. You will even make up things to stop the beatings I have in mind for you. Make up things to hold back one blow for one moment. It's better to start with the truth. Listen. There is a price on Keller's head. 50,000 gold dollars. Dead or alive. No paper trash money. Gold dollars. I want them. And you're going to help me get them. Run! Run! Try that again, Sanford. Unless, of course, you are in a hurry to be dead. You dirty renegade. You traitor. The Chinese word for it is Hong Kong. I'll never talk. No matter how long you keep dragging this out. I'm going to keep you sweating over that wheelbarrow till your tongue hangs down to your belt. Till your dry bones break through your skin. Now pick it up again. Shoot me. Get it over with. I want you to shoot me. <laughs> sure. They all say that. Not all of them. Captain Shugat, any suggestion? You don't seem to be progressing with the prisoner very well. Often these things take time. Ah, yes. I understand. 
However, I'm inclined to believe we're wasting it. The prisoner is resisting interrogation very well. Either he has nothing to say, or if he has, he won't say it. Never. I'll never tell you anything. <laughs> That's what he says now. But give me time, just a little more time. No. No more time. I have decided it is useless. Execute him. You can't do this. Oh, we can. I assure you we can. Without trial? Without reason? What do you mean you were at the trial? You heard the judge? Captain Sugar, he condemned you to death. Oh, I'll admit the decision was fairly swift and without argument. But then how can there be an argument if the prisoner will not talk? But I have nothing to say. Well then, how can there be a trial? Now, of course, it is possible that you have some information about uh, related uh, subjects. You might keep yourself alive if the information is interesting. Then once you begin to talk... Nothing. I'll tell you nothing. Then you're about to be a hero. Unfortunately, a dead one. Goodbye, Lieutenant. Who is Keller? Go ahead and shoot. Come back. You passed out. Perfectly understandable. Protection of the mind against the shock of iron. Which, of course, never came. The bullet was a blank. <laughs> yes, a special kind of torture devised by my friends. To kill a man only once is much too archaic. Now, get up. Start all over again. The next time will even be worse. The mind will wrestle with the enigma of whether the bullet is blank or real. You're a monster. I can understand these poor devils doing anything they're told to. In my last prayer, I ask forgiveness for them. But I couldn't ask forgiveness for you. Jokai, take him back to the wheelbarrow. He talks, but he uses useless words. Take him away. <laughs> General, this is Sampan Joe. General Fang. You seem surprised. I am. As one traitor to another, I'm very surprised. Sit down. Usually upon meeting, one utters absurdities. I'm certain you didn't send for me, General, to discuss absurdities. Uh, that is quite correct, Captain Rene. My name is Sampanjo. I have no other one. Ah, yes. Sampanjo. Very adventurous sounding. I have heard much about you. All quite treacherous, I'm sure. Quite different from what I heard of you, General. Until today, I believed you to be one of the enemy. One of their brave and faithful generals. Both of us lead deceiving lives. Oh, I have to disagree with you, General. I live under no false banner. I do what I do for money. My allegiance is bid for. My services are bought. There is quite a difference. It would please me to pass on from this discussion of the different degrees of treason. The General would like to discuss the prisoner, Lieutenant Sanford. By all means, let's discuss him. I understand you are making little progress in getting the prisoner to talk. I admit I've made no progress so far. And why is that? Well, it is possible that we are asking him the wrong questions. Questions for which he has no answers. It is also possible that we have the wrong man asking the questions. This is my Yemen. 
I take orders from no one here, only myself. Perhaps you give yourself inconclusive orders. It is also possible that you have been uh, soft with this other white man. Have I been soft? He has not been soft. We must find out who this Keller is. He has done our war effort considerable damage and will continue to do so until he is apprehended. I'll get the information from the prisoner. I always have. I don't trust you. Oh, now, now, General. Traitors are never to be trusted. But one finds it necessary to deal with them. That's why you and I are doing so well. I will give you today and tonight. If you fail to make the prisoner talk, we shall have to make other arrangements. Now, would you care to join me in a glass of wine? I'm sorry. I'm all out of uh, absurdities. Go on, get up. Thanks. I think perhaps you should know, Lieutenant, that this is our last day together. If you don't give us the information we seek by midnight, I can assure you you look back upon this period as a time of relaxation, almost a picnic. Never. I never talk, talk to anyone. <laughs> You'll be mindless, but you will talk. You may have no tongue left, but you will communicate. The choice is yours. Now then, wrecked or only half wrecked. Lala! Buddy! Very stubborn man. Lala! Buddy! Lala! You come. Lala! It's night, I can't. Now! Lala! He's on the... Right here! Lala! Well, Lieutenant, now a little questioning and then some night work with a wheelbarrow. <laughs> ah, he no try escape this time. No fight left. <laughs> Follow me, Sanford. And no noise. This is your one chance to escape. Escape? It's a trick I don't believe. Come on, come on. Come, on. be careful. Hey, get up! Hang up! Here it is. Go ahead. Feel this opening. Stick your hand in it. Feel it. Measure it. What is it? It feels like a window. It is a window. A little window. Nobody but me knows it's here. Go ahead. Feel it. Measure it. You'll have to squeeze through it. I'll never make it. It's, it's too small. It's too narrow. No, no, no. Wait. Now try. I can't tell. If I do make it, it'll be a tight squeeze. You've got to make it. I'm all mixed up on this deal. Where do you stand in this war? Next to you. I'm on your side. I'm sorry I had to treat you that way, but they never give us a moment alone. 
They don't trust me, not completely. But the wheelbarrow. That was just to fool Captain Sugar and his boys. Also, I had to sweat you down fast. General Fang is taking over in the morning. General Fang? What are you talking about? He's on our side. He sits in with the high brass. Yes, and takes all your top secrets to the enemy. Very clever, General Fang. He sold out. You've got to get that information back. I don't get it. They've got you marked down at headquarters as top heel in the Orient. They're not far wrong. I skidded to the bottom after I lost my ship. I've come up a little bit, though, in the last few years. <laughs> I reached the absolute in treachery. I'm selling out the people I sold out to. Fair enough. I'll tell them. I'll let them know about you. Yes, yes, do that by all means. I never did complete my mission. I never met Keller. Where is Tom Haishan? There is no such place as Tom Haishan. You sure of that? I should be sure of it. I am Keller. You're Keller? I can't believe it. I invented Tom Haishan as an identity check for those messages. You want more proof? I sent 11 messages, written on rice paper, rolled into empty medicine capsules. You've got message number 12 right here. About General Fang's sellout. Go on. You must get away from here. Fang. That's a long way to go. Get down to the river. You'll find a sampan and a boatman waiting for you. Just tell him Tam Aishan. He'll get you out. What about you? Are you sure you can trust your guy? Of course I can trust him. Just the same, I intend to kill him. Now get going. Yeah. Thanks and good luck. General, I just had the most absurd idea. 